y'all they ain't ready for this let's show them who's boss baby that is a very confident team by the sound of it in their huddle welcome everyone what a game here for you tonight kevin harlan here along with Kurt Kello and steve kirk as we get set to bring you nba action on 2k sports now a chance to check out our starting lineups one of the guys we'll be watching out for today is the developing DeMarcus Cousins. He's an intense player, guys, and that intensity can sometimes be his downfall. You're not really sure what you're going to get out of him. You know, I like aggression, but it has to be properly channeled. But too often, it can result in confrontations with officials, opponents, and teammates, and those are unnecessary distractions. The Kings coming to Oakland for what's sure to be a tough match. Playing back-to-back -back games following last night's loss. And Kevin, when you don't take advantage of your trips to the free throw line, which they definitely did not, it's tough to recover from. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, they left a lot of cheese and lettuce at that foul line, <laughs> partner. Not to mention. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Peter Ray for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Sacramento. Thomas and Thornton pairing up in the back. Landry and Cousins patrol the paint. And it's Salmons in at the small forward position. Thomas kicks to Thornton. Feeds it to Landry. Fades and shoots. Oh, wow, guys. Doesn't look good. We've got an injury here. Mm, injuries are such a difficult part of this game. And from a glance, you really can't tell just how bad it is, but... 
He's going to come out, and we'll find out now how bad it is. He may be done for the game. Oh, boy. You know, when an injury like this happens, never a good thing. But, you know, here tonight, this is giving one young player a chance to step in and show what he can do. That's exactly right, Steve. When you're in the backup position and you have a chance to prove that you can answer the call when your team needs you, I mean, that's what it's all about. And that gives you confidence and your team confidence. You can't think about the loss of one of your teammates. You've got to focus on being able to get the job done that's in front of them. And a moment happening right now, folks, and the fulfillment of a lifelong dream, a special individual taking to the hardwood as we'll get to watch for the first official time in an NBA uniform from Wolf. Hey, guys, this is really a big moment, getting a chance to show off what you can do amongst the best players in the league. A lot of nerves for this young man right now. And, you know, I think the pressure that he feels right now, Steve, is probably one of the first big challenges you face as a young NBA player. I mean, you've got to be able to focus on your game, be aggressive, play with confidence, and not be distracted by the newness of the experience. That's a lot to handle. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, Kevin. I was able to hear the advice Mike Malone gave to his team during that last break. He's not pleased with the careless turnovers offensively, saying, listen, we've got to get shots. It's as simple as that. We have to play smart and value the basketball. Kevin, did it sink in? It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Their defense has been outstanding, Kevin. Closing out on shots, blocking a lot of them as well. And, guys, I think you've got to give them credit for the number of steals they've taken away. I mean, a lot of effort on the defense from them tonight. Thomas dishes the Cousins to the middle. Here's Wolf. Rebounded by Bogut. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior, no question. And that's, uh, I think, the main reason they have this lead. Curry attacking. Back to Bogut. Curry passes to Thompson. And that will be Golden State as it goes out of bounds. Warriors retain possession. He had no choice but to lunge for that pass to stop it from getting through. Well, that was a good job. It could have been a quick bucket if he doesn't knock it out of bounds there. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Golden State. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here on the fourth. That's good. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before looking to run away. Yeah, and that's fine as long as you're making them, but make sure you don't start launching bad shots. That's a problem. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to 10 on the bucket from Thomas. How about that for a response? They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. Curry gets the lead. Puts up the baby hook, and he gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by 12. His shooting's been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons his team is up in this game. Thomas against Curry. From outside the arc, another three for Sacramento. I wasn't so sure he could get it turned around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. Lee left side. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And that's a shot he had to take. For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You look at Marcus Thornton out of LSU, 6'4", a, a scoring guard. He can really light it up in a hurry off the bench. First one falls for him. And for Thornton, the second rounder back in 2009. His size does hurt him defensively, but you'd have to say he's exceeded expectations, Clark. I think so, Kevin. He surprised a lot of people with his ability to provide instant offense. Um, he is pretty locked in with tunnel vision offensively. He's myopic now at that end of the floor. He's thinking <laughs> about getting the ball and scoring the ball. But in his role, I think he's perfect for it. Both shots good from the strike. Well, when it came to getting wins away from Sacramento last year, the Kings were anything but Kings of the Road. Only came away with eight wins as the visiting team last year. 
And that puts him near the bottom of the league in win total. That's the kind of defense required when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were right in his face. A chance here to get a quick injury report. And now we'll send it over to Doris Burke for an update on Carl Landry. Doris? Well, guys, the Kings head athletic trainer gave me an update. He told me that it doesn't look too serious. A rocky start to the year with an injury like this coming so early in the season. Hopefully, they'll be able to recover. Thank you, Doris, for the update. We appreciate it. And we really hope for the best, as always. Well, knowing him, Kevin, I'll bet he can put it behind him as quickly as possible. Let's hope so, Steve. I know everybody's looking forward to seeing him back out there. And back to the Kings on the road for a second. That total of eight road wins had them tied for the fewest in the entire Western Conference, Steve, along with the Suns. Uh, it's not a surprise when a team is just bad, when they don't have an identity. So there's no way you're going to be competitive on the road. They didn't defend, and they were selfish with the ball. Other than that, they were fantastic. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Well, you know, Andrew Bogut essentially missed the first half of last season as he continued rehab from his ankle injury from early 2012. The team did a pretty good job of holding down the fort in his absence. Got off to a hot start, but no question about it. He gives this team a whole different dimension inside when he's healthy. Curry can't get it to go. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. And he gets it to go. The defense better start paying attention and taking care of business because he's been great from the arc this half. Going back to Bogut, the Warriors took a little heat early on with that trade. You know, they, they sent their high-scoring guard, Montalas, for Bogut to Milwaukee. And they had to wait a long while for the big man because he came injured to Golden State. Well, that was the main reason people were upset. They traded their leading score for a guy who couldn't even play because he was on the sidelines. But once he was healthy, uh, the trade made perfect sense. Golden State had plenty of firepower in the backcourt. They needed the size and defense that Bogut brought them. Well, you knew the run would come, and here it is. They're playing well now, trying to get back in this thing. Yeah, pretty good comeback effort here. Um, rolling along nicely, and they've gotten themselves within striking distance now. Here's Curry. Blocked. Here's Lee. Nice yet again. And the Kings with possession. They're on a 16-5 run here. Thomas passes to Wolf. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And this guy has just been tough to watch. Just really not in rhythm here. Well, maybe he wasn't prepared. I mean, you know, coming in after an injury like that and immediately being brought in, he might just not have been mentally or physically prepared or even warmed up for that match. Good. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing him. That's four of the last five baskets they've allowed have been three-pointers. Here's Lee. Good, and Curry gets the assist. And that's 19 points for David Lee. What an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender you know, giving up so much size, there's no way he's going to get a hand on. Thomas goes in. Cousins loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Cousins has got the lead up to one now for the Kings. Thompson against Fortin. Thompson with the bucket. Thompson's got 10 points in just the second half. A loose defense at such a critical time. You're better off sending him to the line than giving him two points. Thomas dishes to Cousins. Thomas passes to Wolf. Shot is no good. Good D by Lee. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the Clippers. Curry against Thomas. And Andrew Bogut, the bucket on the assist by Curry. And that's now seven points for Andrew Bogut. And here are the Kings now. They trail by three. There's Thomas at the three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Bogut's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. You know, they haven't been able to open up a big lead, but the rebounds are starting to add up for them. They may be able to pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. 
Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve, uh, particularly on the release to make sure he doesn't get a hand on it. And Cousins gets it to go. Yes. Boy, bad timing. Now is not the time to be giving him that shot. Warriors leading by three. Outside Curry. In low to Boca. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And that's now nine points for Bogan. And for Sacramento, they're shooting 43% for the game. Salmons from outside. Steph Curry with the rebound. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball. It's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. Passes it to Lee. That is good. Now it's a seven-point Warrior lead. It's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. I guess the good news is they've taken away the outside shot. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they're going to allow inside looks as easy as that. That's some grit and determination in the post. Essential qualities to have late in a close game. Exactly. I mean, this is the time to attack on the interior and generate those easy opportunities. It's Thompson off the drive. He dishes it to Lee. Barnes kicks to Lee. Shot clock at six. Barnes passes to Thompson. On D. The shot will not go. Excellent D there from Thornton. Here's Salmons. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Lee. Kicks it to Barnes. Thompson inside. Salmons covering. Bogut against Thornton. Three-pointer. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got rebound number five here tonight. Dives for it. It's stolen by Salmons. Offside Thomas. Buries it down low. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Curry against Thomas. Lee sets a screen for Curry. And the rejection by Wolf. In this quarter, he's really been off the mark. He just looks a little bit unsettled. And here's Horton outside. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. It's a tie ball game. Maybe he just needed a little break at halftime because he's been raining down threes ever since. Here's Curry. 158 left to play in the final quarter. Curry gets the screen from Bogut. Curry kicks to Barnes. Lee dishes to Barnes. Shot clock at six. And there's the feed to Curry. To stop the drought. And the Warriors get it back. Moves back up. Bogut gets the bucket. Bogut's got seven points here in this quarter. A very good half for them from the field. They've got their shooting percentage up over 50%. Yeah, they got a great chance to go ahead and close this game out because their offense is really clicking right now. What determination. There was a lot of competition for that rebound, and he came away with it. Out to the wing. Thornton against Thompson. Thompson, left side. Oaks one up, and he's able to get it back. And the layup is good. Thompson's got 12 points in just the second half. The Kings trail by four. Thomas off a pick from Wolf. The tray. Tries again. Connects! And he has brought them to within two points. And that bucket right there, folks, is the first official NBA basket from Wolf. And I'm sure he's happy to just get that out of the way. Get that first basket. Now you breathe easy and just go out and play. I think he's got a lot of big buckets ahead of him, guys. Uh, the years to come for him are going to be pretty productive. But I think this moment will rank right up there among the biggest of his as he goes through the rest of his career. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. Thomas goes in. It's in! Great move to the hoop, and I love the finger roll finish. Shot and game clock separated by five. 
Guys, they're not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, now's the time to use the clock to your advantage. Take your time. Milk the clock a little bit. Poked away. And here comes Thomas. Leading the fast break. Here's Wolf. Oh, no good. The offense is getting right to the rim, but at least they saved the layup with the foul. That's old school basketball rules. I mean, at the end of the day, no easy layups. Earn it from the line. The first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And he ends up missing both free throws. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Smart foul there. You've got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. And here is Barnes. And every point they get now puts them one step closer to the W. If they're not there already, Steve, just a tremendous all-around game of basketball they play. Near the three-point line, it's Thomas. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. And when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. And that'll wrap it up for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan, and thanks for tuning in. You were forced into extra action tonight due to an injury to one of your teammates, but you weren't able to do much out there. Tell us about your mindset coming into the game like that. Man, when it's time for me to get out there and play, that's all I'm thinking about. I can't be focused on other stuff or my game's gonna suffer. Then again, I guess it wasn't all that good tonight, so maybe I should be focusing on other things. Huh. Hmm.